Welcome back to another episode of Wild Kitchen presented by Moultrie Mobile. In this video, we're taking a tender venison steak and pairing it with a delicious honey bourbon sauce. The honey bourbon sauce actually doubles as our marinade. The marinade will consist of three tablespoons of olive oil, one third cup of honey, a fourth cup of bourbon, and you can use any bourbon of choice, a fourth cup of low sodium soy sauce, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and three to four garlic cloves that you've either minced or finely diced up. We'll combine all of those ingredients in a small to medium sized bowl and whisk it together until everything's equally distributed. This marinade works so well because it combines the sweetness from the honey and the saltiness from the soy sauce and the Worcestershire sauce. Once the ingredients for the marinade are well combined, we'll get out a venison backstrap. If your backstrap is still whole, you're gonna to need to cut a portion that's one to one and a half pounds. As you can see, most of the silver skin has already been removed, but we're gonna to need to take the time and remove any little pieces of silver skin that we see. This is very important because the silver skin can produce a gamey flavor that most people do not enjoy. Once we've done that, we can place it in a Ziploc bag and pour our marinade over top of the venison. Then I like to remove the air from the Ziploc bag prior to placing it in the fridge. We're gonna need to allow our steaks to marinate for two hours. During the last half an hour or half an hour after the two hours is up, set the steaks out at room temperature. It is important to let them sit out for a half an hour to ensure that the steaks come to room temperature and thus will cook more evenly. Then we'll take the venison backstrap out of our marinade and set it onto a cutting board. Do not discard the marinade because we're going to use that later. Then we'll pat the steaks dry using a paper towel. It's very important to not rinse them, just use a paper towel to let them dry. Once they're dry, we can season them on both sides with salt and black pepper to taste. Now we're ready to head over to our skillet. I've already gotten mine very hot. This is important to get a good sear. Place the venison backstrap into your hot skillet and let it cook undisturbed for two to three minutes. Then we'll flip it, let it cook for two minutes, and then finish it off in a 350 degree oven. The exact cook time depends greatly on the thickness of your steak. Mine took about 10 minutes in the oven to reach a medium rare. I don't recommend cooking venison anything over that or you might result in a tough steak. Check the temperature of your steaks using an internal meat thermometer. Once it's come to your desired temperature, set it aside to rest on a plate. Pour your reserved marinade into the hot skillet and let it simmer over medium high heat for about five to 10 minutes while the steak's resting. Be sure to whisk it constantly during this process. After the rest time is up, you can get a sharp knife and cut your steaks into either one fourth or one half inch slices. Then we'll take the honey bourbon sauce that we just created in the skillet and pour it all over top of our steak. Then you're left with a delicious family friendly dinner that's packed with flavor and looks as good as it tastes. For more delicious wild game recipes, be sure to subscribe to Moultrie Mobile on YouTube.